It is <clears throat> December the 30th um, in the evening. I'm in Istanbul. So it's 7.23, December 30th in Istanbul. And I am going to be <clears throat> documenting something. Something that I am worried might disappear in days to come and years to come. Um, so here it goes. I'm going to be using two websites to do this. The first one is the one that you're seeing here. It's Our World in Data. And the second one will be Worldometer, which is very famous, needs no further introduction. I'm sure you all know it. It's considered to be a highly trusted source. When it comes to Our World in Data, this is a privately owned company, which is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and also by the British government, so again, a highly trusted source. And the page that I want to look at on this site is the one that concerns how many people die and how many are born each year in the world. So these are total numbers. So I'm going to scroll down <coughs> to the death numbers and especially this chart right here to explain to you what I what it is that I want to document. So these are the number of deaths per year worldwide. This is the total death number, all causes. And as you can see, it goes up and up and up and up every year. And so in 2019, there were 58,390,000 deaths. And the projected number for 2020 is 59,230,000. Now, when we say the projected number, what is meant by that is the medium variant of the UN population. So the sources for that, which they show you here, are these reports that are United <coughs> Nations generated about uh, world demographics. So every year, there are about 900,000 deaths added to the figure from the previous year, and that has to do with the fact that every year there are more people in the world and there are also more old people in the world who come into the age range where they are likely to die. So we have this upward projection which started from around 2015-2014. After that point we see this steady increase. So anyway, the number for 2020, the projected number is... 59 million and 230. So this is obviously a rough estimate, but somewhere in that ballpark. Now, what is meant by the medium variant is that these, this is the number of deaths that are expected in the steady state with all things being equal, no major disasters, no wars, no contagious illnesses or anything like that. So this is just the expected normal um, death count. However, in 2020, we weren't in a steady state. Um, all things weren't equal because what happened is that there was a, a contagious illness. There was a big um, outbreak, an illness outbreak. And as I'm sure you are all aware, so there are almost one million eight hundred thousand deaths that should be added to this number because those are excess deaths now this illness this outbreak is said to be a new illness an entirely new illness so obviously what that would mean is that the, the number of deaths that occurred due to this new illness would need to get added onto the projected figure so let's do that. So this is what is projected in the steady state to which we need to add 1.8, which gives us the number 61, 61 million. So it would need to be 61 million deaths this year. However, when we come here, we find something quite startling. 
because actually this is the number of deaths that have occurred this year. Now, obviously, we, we are still <clears throat> about 24 hours away from the new year. And between the, now and then, there will be another around 150,000 added to this number. Because that's roughly how many people die around this time of year. Uh, so, we will most likely end up with a number which is somewhere around 58,950,000, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit more than that even. But in any case, it is not coming close to 59,230,000, and much less the 61 million that it is actually supposed to be, when this new illness, which has generated new added excess death to the projected number, um, is looked at. We are nowhere near 61 million, obviously. So the question to ask is, um, where are these excess deaths? Where are these excess deaths? What happened to them? Why don't we see them in the total? That's the question. Happy New Year. It is now December 31st, 10.45 um, p.m. here in Istanbul. We have about one hour to go to midnight. And um, since Worldometer gets its figures from the World Health Organization in Geneva, in Switzerland, which is two hours behind us, we have about three hours left to get the final numbers. So currently we have 58,964,000, as you can see right now. Now there are likely to be 20,000 more deaths over the next three hours, which will give us a figure very close to 58,985,000 or so. Now um, let us put aside all that I covered in the documentation that I made yesterday. Uh, meaning the projections that are made based upon increase in world population and demographic breakdowns, and the excess death numbers added onto that projection number for 2020 that came about because of a new contagious illness. Let us forget about all of that for, for a moment. Um, instead, let us look at a hypothetical scenario where the total death number in a steady state for 2020 was expected to materialize as exactly the same as the one for 2019, which is 58,390,000. I know that this is fallacious given that world population increases year by year, but just bear with me. But then on top of this expected steady state outcome came a deadly scourge, a brand new infectious disease, which caused an additional 1,800,000 deaths. So the result would be 60,190,000 people that would have died in the world in 2020. But what happened in reality? In reality, 58 million 985,000 or thereabouts died in 2020, which leaves 1,210,000 excess deaths unaccounted for. And this is about two-thirds of the 1,800,000 who died of COVID in 2020. So regardless of whether you make a documentation based upon the correct projection like I did yesterday, or whether you go with a fallacious scenario based on a projection on the figures of 2019, the question remains the same. When you go with the correct projection, all excess COVID deaths are missing in the total. And even when you go with the fallacious projection, like I did today, two-thirds of the excess deaths do not find a place in the final global death number for 2020. So again, this is the question. And I hope that it stays with you as we go further into 2021.